Yeah, we made it to Cape Blanco and a beautiful drive up the coast. Kate drove the whole way again. Very nice of her. Very windy coming up. This is what we do uh, after we get somewhere to camp. Check our phone, play a little Monopoly, do a little dress up, eat some dinner. And now we're gonna go take a little walk and watch the sunset. Just finished watching the sunset on the beach. Uh, Kate took the kids back up to start putting in the bed and let me stay on the beach and watch the sunset and take some pictures. Beautiful, like in heaven. Love it. The beach and the sunset, lighthouse in the background. Just incredible, incredible here. So today is uh, even though we're camp camped on a campground in a state park, and uh, beautiful, and the beach is right there, and blue sky, and sunny out, we still have to do chores, and paperwork, and school stuff, and and uh, clean up, and we gotta do laundry, we gotta take clothes to the laundromat, and all the normal stuff, still gotta do, even though you're camped at a beautiful place like Cape Blanco. Come on, Dallas. Yeah. Yeah, laundry is really annoying. Mm-hmm. And we're back at the trailer, and now we got to unpack and put away the laundry and make dinner. And I got ice cream. When we're plugged into electricity, we like to use our Instant Pot because it doesn't use up propane and just use electricity that's already being paid for. So tonight, we're having black bean soup Yay! for dinner. And we're all starving. So we can't wait for it to be ready. Yeah! Oh, we get enough lunch! Oh, it was not lunch. I only got like three chips. So normally we stream our music with Pandora or Spotify or something, but we have a CD player and we discovered some CDs at my grandpa's house and now we're listening to... Garth Brooks on his CD player. And Maddie just learned that on the inside of the CD case, on the cup, on the sheet, that there are the lyrics to the songs. This thingy. I feel kind of bad for the other campers in the campsite next to us. They're tent campers. Have them tent over. campers. Those kinds of people. Have they're them. camp. They're trying to Have cook on their. Over. They're trying to cook on their camp stove over there, and it's really windy out. Yeah. It's kind of cold, and windy. I feel bad for them. We're sitting in here all nice and cozy, and yeah. eating our bowl of hearty black bean soup, and Yummy. nice and warm, and trailer camping. Nice. For the win. Today. We are going to the farmer's market in the town of Bandon. We haven't been to a farmer's market for a while, so we're hoping for some good fresh produce. Hopefully some, because I didn't get any at the grocery store. No greens. And then we're gonna head up to Coos Bay and visit some friends, take a little hike, and uh, visit the Marine Life Center there. Yay! You talk, Dallas, and I'll make my mouth move. Go.
those. The farmer's market was a score. They had all kinds of sweet treats. Yeah. Puffed corn with chocolate and caramel. Cheesecake. Cheesecake? Looks chocolate good. bites. Everything you can imagine. We got good stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we got some lettuce and kale and that's that's strawberries, strawberries and that sort of thing, too. No, and onion. We didn't get zucchini. Now, on to Coos Bay! Yay! We're at Sunset Bay Yay. State Park and we're gonna go check out some tide pools and take a little hike with some views. Kids have found a dinosaur to climb up on top of. A stegosaurus of some sort resides here at the beach. We don't remember it, but somewhere in the past we must have been here. <laughs> or it's destiny. Oh. True love. True love. <laughs> We are at the Marine Life Center here in Charleston, just outside Coos Bay, and we're going to learn a little bit about the ocean and the sea creatures and everything coast. We're at Tony's Crab Shack where we're gonna get some seafood. We'll see what they have here. I guess they have crab. Probably have some other stuff too. We'll see what we end up with. What'd you order? Clam chowder in a bowl. We are at the Face Rock Creamery. And we are gonna get some ice cream. Cause we like ice cream. This is just one scoop. <laughs> Putting some block on. Putting Indian paint on. <laughs> what for? Going to the beach. Oh. <laughs> We are going to go down to the beach today and have a nice uh, just play on the beach day because we've been going around and doing things and seeing stuff, which is great. But uh, we just want to play on the beach for a little while. So we're going to go play on the beach, build some sand castles, and if we've got time, go check out the lighthouse today.
worst part about going to the beach is when you're done and you're going back to the car and you got to get all the sand off and and get dried off and you're all sandy and wet and it's uncomfortable and fortunately we just have like one minute to drive back up to our trailer and we'll take showers yeah. well the beach here at cape blanco is actually a really nice beach it's not like a white sandy soft beach the sand is very firm you actually drive. We saw a number of people driving their cars on it, so it's a good place. We might try that later. We'll see. <laughs> but the beach is not a white sandy beach, but it's a fun beach to build sandcastles. Yeah. And it's really, uh, the water doesn't come up real fast. It's kind of a gradual slope, so it was great for building sandcastles. But we, got, and uh, we lost our ball sometimes. We lost but we got it ball? again. Oh, she had to run after it to get it. Yeah. <laughs> but you build mazes, the little pools of water. It's almost like tide pools in the yeah, sand. Yeah, there was like huge the high tide dips. So. At, at very low tide, you have these holes with water in them, but no ocean feeding into it mm -hmm. until high tide again. Yeah. So the water was actually pretty warm inside of them and really neat, kind of knee depth to run around and yeah. splash in. It was really neat. Yeah, really I've never fun. seen that before. Hell. Yeah, the problem is when the water starts to come in, you yeah. can't see where the holes are. And so if you're running... You fall. <laughs> yeah, splash right Like Maddie it. did. What else did you do down there at the beach? Well, we finally caught the mouse. There's been a mouse running around inside our place for a couple weeks now. We put traps everywhere so and it moves cute. to a different section and finally caught it. It's so cute. It's really cute. It's going it poops all over your house. Every morning that we've woken up here, there have been little bunny rabbits eating grass in the little grassy field at our campsite. It's quite pleasant. Where's grass? <laughs> Gotta air up the tires a little bit before we uh, head off to our next campground. Oh uh, man, again, Royal Bee, little air pressure inflator works great. Love it. And next we're gonna go, we're gonna try and hit a lighthouse before we pull out and then go get some lunch and a post office and hopefully hit another lighthouse on the way too before our next campground. I like lighthouses. We are checking out the Cape Blanco Lighthouse. It is the westernmost lighthouse in Oregon. <laughs> and the oldest remaining lighthouse in Oregon as well. stopped at Coquille Lighthouse just on the north side of Bandon um, in the bay there and we're gonna stop and eat some lunch and check out the lighthouse and walk out into the little peninsula that goes out on the waves and see if we get wet there's nothing like a grilled cheese sandwich by a lighthouse <laughs> So this is the Coquel Lighthouse here on the Southern Oregon coast, just above the town of Bandon. And it is the, actually the youngest lighthouse that's still standing. Uh, it's not in operation anymore. It's been out of operation for quite a while. Everything's automated now, but the lighthouse itself is still standing and still here. And you can come check it out and take a look. It's a pretty little lighthouse. Check it out right now. And you can hear the foghorn that's going in the background because there's some fog out on the ocean. <laughs> 